My name is Max Leahy. I'm the founder of P&T Pets. I created the first ever drawstring dog poop bag. I know, it's a weird product to create. Why would you think out of all things you can make something for dog poop? Honestly, it's because my dog Scout. The first time when I first got Scout, um, she would pull and tug at me when I would try and pick up the poop and tie it off and it was a nightmare. I was always afraid of getting poop on my hands and besides that, it just the old bags were just terrible. It was an old style garbage bag that even, you know, I'm 33. I don't even remember them being garbage bags like that. Maybe there was when I was a kid. But everything I use today and have for the last 10 years was always a drawstring bag for my kitchen, for my office, anything that was a garbage bag. So I just couldn't figure out why that didn't exist for something simple like picking up dog poop. So what I did is I went back to the drawing board. I'm kind of like an inventor mind. I, I think of things and then I think of ways that I can actually create it. So I spent three years going back and forth to four different factories overseas, trying to get this bag produced. Now, you probably think, how hard can it be to make a drawstring bag? Surprisingly difficult. Part of the issue and the reason that a smaller drawstring bag didn't exist to this day, well, now it does because I created it, but before that, it didn't exist because it's very difficult to make a small drawstring that will still allow the bag to close. So your normal long kitchen drawstring bag has a long drawstring, which allows it to easily pull to close. So that was my first challenge in creating the poop and tie drawstring bag, which I'll show you here. Um, you'll see the bag here, and then you'll see the drawstring right at the top, and all you do is Take your hand in, grab the poop, come up on the other side, and then simply pull to close. And what's nice about this that didn't exist before is every other bag, since it was the old style of garbage bags, you had to carry it. Anytime you know, you're on a walk, I live in Los Angeles, there's not always a garbage can. So I have to tie it off, hope to God I don't get poop on my hands, that was always my greatest fear. And then I have to hold that bag like this until I finally find a garbage can or get back to my building. So that was another hurdle that I wanted to overcome when I created Poop and Tie. And it kind of was an unintentional hurdle, to be honest. I hadn't thought of it originally. My whole first thing was just, how can I make this easier to tie? And I'll be honest, I got the ones that have the shopping tie handles after I got the regular old school poop bags when Scout was about one. She's four now. And those made it a little easier to tie. The problem with those was that there was no, uh, none of those on rolls. They don't, they still, to this day, to my knowledge, don't exist on rolls. So I have a dispenser on my leash. And not gonna lie, I'm a little bit forgetful sometimes. I actually, uh, my ex-girlfriend bought me a um, tile for my wallet because I would lose it all the time. And I'm sure I'm not the only one out there that has that problem. Your keys, your wallet, or things like tile wouldn't exist. So with those bags, they were great. They made it way easier to tie. But the problem was I never remembered to grab them before I walked out of the house. I'd leave them right next to my door. I'd still walk out without a bag, which, you know, in LA is not good because not only you get a ticket, you kind of feel like a dick if you, you know, your dog goes to the bathroom and you don't pick it up. Especially people are watching you, you know, you really do feel like a dick not picking it up. So. That was kind of a moot point for me because it didn't come in a roll. It was too hard to remember. I needed something that came in a roll that was easy to tie. And the next thing too was easy to open. All those bags before poop and tie stuck together like crazy, especially I grew up in New York. I can't even imagine doing it with gloves on when it's cold. But even in LA, it was such a pain in the ass to open those bags, I could not even believe it. So I wanted to create something that was easy to open, easy to close, and allowed you to walk to the garbage can without holding the bag. Because realistically, who wants to hold a bag of used dog poop? So what I did is I created this nice tie right here and you tie it off. And then I created a dispenser with a little metal clip. All you do, like a belay clip you'd see for climbing. All you do is clip the used bag to the dispenser which hangs off your leash. Now, the whole way back, you don't have to hold the bag which honestly, actually with these bags, it's not as bad because you can kind of dangle it on your finger, but it's still much easier that you have that free hand. Now, if somebody calls you, 
you know, and you have the leash in the other hand, you can actually pick up your phone if you needed to, rather than your other bag is full of the dog poop bag. So that's pretty much the reason that I created the brand. And I have a lot of other ambitions to make this brand um, a lot larger with things that don't exist that are really good for dogs as well. But my first focus, honestly, was humans. How can I make your life a little bit easier? And that's what I hope I can do with Poop and Tie. I hope I can make your life just a little bit easier because that's my goal. I, I know it made my life a little easier and everybody's life, especially, you know, we're coming out of COVID, um, everybody's uncertain about their job, everything else. There's enough stress in life without adding one more thing to it. Those bags added just more and more stress. So why not make your life a little bit easier with poop and tie bags?